Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today's topic is high cost claimant population health. Now many of you are familiar with the 550 rule which says that 5% of the claimants or if we're talking about an employee health plan, 5% of the people on the health plan drive 50% of the spend. These are the people that have claims typically in excess of $100,000 over the course of a 12 month period of time. And if you add up all those, all that spend over $100,000, it ends up being over 50% of all of your spend for the entire year. So it's heavily stratified or concentrated at the top. Now what's important here to note is that those five percenters are a very heterogeneous population. Those five percenters are not all the same. And we're going to talk about those differences. Difference number one, two, about half of them, about 2.5% are from the pr are high cost claimants from the previous year or at least they had some sort of underlying claims or diagnosis or like if you looked at your claims you'd be like okay well I kind of see how they were doing something before or maybe they had something major before and it was just continuing on to the new year but about half the people about 2.5 percent another 2.5 percent okay they're brand spanking new they blow up out of nowhere okay so and again for some, it's not exactly the same for all groups but that means that about 25% of your overall spend is carryover from high cost claimants from the previous year and 25% of your spend is from brand spanking new high cost claimants that blew up out of nowhere. Okay, what's 25%? That's the same as almost your entire pharmacy spend. So think about how, think about how much rigmarole you spend on your on looking at your pharmacy spend time and attention PBM discounts blah 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 and you've got a high cost claimant problem of new people blowing up that's the same size so imagine if you put as much time and attention into those folks that you put into your RX spend okay how do you do that number one we're gonna go through this matrix here so we've got known and unknown disease so that known disease is about half of the five percent and the unknown disease is about the other half of the five percent but then they fall into two categories in terms of their outflow flow. There is prolonged high cost claimants that last for more than a year, and then there's episodic high cost claimants that last for less than a year. And I'm going to go through specific examples. For example, the known prolonged high cost claimants are like type 2 diabetes that end up going into end stage renal disease on dialysis, or like someone with multiple sclerosis who ends up being up on a high cost MS med, or somebody who had a previous cancer who is still dealing with that. Uh, tragic, let's say, metastatic cancer. And then you have your known folks where it's episodic. And this might be somebody with type 2 diabetes, but they just have a small heart attack, which is called an NSTEMI. This, they have a small heart attack, they're in the hospital for like five days, it goes away, and they're actually pretty much fine after they get their stents. Likewise, with MS, they might have a flare, and then they're, not everybody with MS is put on a high-cost medication, so they might be put on a low co lower-cost medication. Okay, so there, you knew they had MS previously, they flared with their hospitalization, but then they're not really ongoing, they're episodic. Okay, now we go to the unknowns. What is this? This is stuff like your unknown type 2 diabetics, where the first time they ever realize they have diabetes is when they have a stroke, and they've lost the ability to move half of their body, and they are in the hospital for months, and they develop bed sores, and they have prolonged physical therapy, and it's going to go on year after year after year, and it's tragic. Next up, your people with degenerative joint disease who end up getting a knee, hip, or spine surgery done, and it's a horrible surgery. It has complications. It has a bad outcome. It's a total train wreck. Likewise, you also have people in your unknowns who frankly are totally healthy and something really bad happens, like trauma, like a skiing accident, they run into a tree, or as somebody who's you know generally a healthy uh, pregnant woman who just has a preterm delivery at like 26 weeks and it just goes on for, unfortunately, the kid has literally ramifications for the rest of their life because they were born so early. Um, and if they stay employed and they're on your plan, then you're going to have to deal with that for a prolonged period of time. Okay, next up, we have the category of unknowns and episodic. Look, we have an unknown type 2 diabetes, but again, it's just a small heart attack. They place a couple of stents. They actually do just fine. Same thing with de degenerative joint disease, and they have a good procedure, like hip, knee, spine surgery goes great. And then also, if they just have no disease at all, but it's a sports injury, pretty episodic. Or if they have a preterm baby, but it's not at like 26 weeks, but it's like at 30 or 32 weeks, they're older. So yeah, they got to be in the NICU maybe for a month, but they don't have a prolonged sequelae of lifelong consequences from being born prematurely. What is the second most important point I need to make today? All of these people in the known two boxes up top 
have an established relationship with the healthcare system and with a doctor, and they are not going to be open to any sort of population health, nurse, counselor, telephonic, you name it, they're not having it because they already have an established relationship. There's no way you're going to unseat that. However, for the two boxes here on the bottom, which make up 25, 25, which make up 50% of your five percenters, in other words, these are the 25% 20, the new folks, you, they have no prior relationship, and you have an opportunity through your various programs, targeted programs, etc., to intervene. Again, this is the size of your pharmacy spend. So just imagine if you spend as much time on these folks that never had a relationship who end up becoming high cost claims. Just think, what if you focused on them? And that's my point for today. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.